sunny and absolutely beautiful today. Not a cloud in the sky. And check this out. We got a freshie flag finally. It's only been a year or five. Anyways, what's up guys? How's it going, Mark Free 48? If you haven't subscribed or comment, make sure you do so. Check these guys out as well, Steel Supplements. Uh, I take this stuff every night for sleep, so I kind of have some sleeping issues, but I take this stuff and it knocks me right out. And there's a discount code below. And check this out. Jaber's got his new rims. Oof. Want to give us a quick walk around here, Jay? Look like a DeWalt rep right now. With your safety shoes on. What do you want to know? <laughs> what do you want to know? Well, how tall are you? Uh, I'm 6'9". 6'9". 5'8". 5'9". 5'9". Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a height comparison there. That's about how big it is. She... I honestly did not want it to be this big. <laughs> hey, that's what, that's what she said, but you know what are you going to do? You're going to deal with it. Uh, so you picked these rims up the other day from... Um... Unauthorized performance in London. Oh, yeah. I've been buying stuff from them for like 15 years now. So Nice, nice. Yeah, so yeah, they had the rims, and then uh, Brad and I did some trimming yesterday. Oh, yeah. It was, it was hitting back here. Just so we, uh, so cut. Yeah, a little plastic. Well, well, we these, to trim. It's these damn freaking GMCs with their square wheel wheels. Like, I don't know why they designed that. <laughs> yeah, yeah get, the, get the grinder out there. Imagine you actually hit your paint. Yeah. Oops. So these are 37s? 37, 12, 5, 20. Nice. So you said they really rubbed and then the rims helped a little bit. Yeah. So now I have tons of room back here. Sweet. Which is good. All the room for activities. If you guys can see back there. Yeah, it used to be like this far from my ball joint. So wow. So, so the tires stick out a little bit. Which is not okay. enough that you're going to get pulled over no, for it. So uh, just a little bit not like those guys that have the tires out to here. So. Right. And then, and then this... we're doing what exhaust tomorrow mbrp exhaust sweet so, so i'll try to get some footage from that we'll see and this is a three inch lift this is a three and a half they call it like a three and a half uh leveling kit leveling kit oh, okay. comes with upper control arms and uh different shocks because the shocks got to be longer because you're going up cool so, yeah. what's your favorite part about this truck the whole thing just came <laughs> bit of an upgrade forward. since the last one it now you got bit. back seat uh, vents yeah, the kids are happy. There's air in the back now. <laughs> That's good. We got cameras all around. Yeah. I really like the red hooks. I know these guys do it. Jeep does it. And it just it really brings it out. Something That's about why it. I got red for the rims. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a little bit of accent. Trying to match it up a little bit. This, this has a bit of red. Yeah. And then you said you're painting these black, right? Well, I'm going to try to get some tints. Maybe off Amazon. Oh, okay. Yeah. And just tint these. Wrap those. Yeah. What about these? I'm going to leave them. Leave them? I think so, yeah. Because okay. the top ones are orange too. Oh, okay. So I just don't like the orange. I want this to look black, but the light will still come out at night. Yeah, it's orange. You got the step. Yeah. Lots of room for activities. Still smells like a new truck in here. Just missing the big screen. I know. Yeah, that's, they're lacking on that part. That's next up, eh? Yeah. Sweet. Looks like you spilled a little, little you know, fuel there already. Yeah. Do for a wash. I know, I know my truck's do for a wash too. These new caps where I don't know. A flap comes over, then the fuel kind of comes out a bit, but flings out. I try to, to fill it up right to the rim. Yeah, I like doing that too and getting it all over my tire. Yeah. It's just a lease, so who okay. cares? Then I'll use a wind chill washer brush and we'll just <laughs> yeah, just scratch the shit out of it. <laughs> and then you got your fancy tailgate. Oof. Scared me there. Aggressive. And then what do you hit the second button? Yeah. And then the third button? And then the, third and then the fourth button? The fourth button. You yeah. said you were getting a sensor or something so it won't come down if you have a hitch in? Yeah, so there's a pin uh, this, that's attached to, I think, this, the second button. Oh, okay. So it will not activate this when okay. your trailer hitches in. Jeez, look at this thing. You need a wash jack. It's two months old. Oh, yeah. I do like this though. It's good. It's good for uh, yeah. stuff in the box. And it does have a handle. Oh, yeah. The old man handle. Stand tonic cover. There you go. Sweet. Well, anyways, we'll get back at her here. Sick truck. So, we got this, uh, this weed whacker from uh, Princess Auto. Really great, really great, but I decided uh, I was gonna modify it and I put giant chains on it and it just ripped apart. 
So. Oh, you had like paper thin. Yeah. Whatever these are. These the are the little on. tabs that came on it. So we're gonna so we're like gonna this. beef it up. Yeah. So. So I got some bigger some bigger stuff we can put on. Sweet. And we're gonna use these chains. They're super light. So I'm gonna block tight everything up. But other than that, this thing's sick. Like Works great. super well. So. It's, we wanted to put chains on more for those big stalks we get down at the track. It's giant weeds, so. And we did a little target practice the other night and uh, we decided we were gonna put it at 300 yards and we, we did some damage on this thing. So I picked up some more chain there today. We're gonna fix this one up. But yeah, feels it feels way better when you hit it from 300 yards. When you're up close and you hit it, you're like, ah, oh, it's cool, but. That's when it's half, yeah, when it's halfway down the track and you're pegging them off. We had some mega ricochets though. We blew the back window of the Dodge. One hit the back of the Dodge and then one hit the door of the F-150. So, nice. And the funny thing is some guy was coming to pick up the window from the Dodge, the back window. And it broke. Like who buys a back window? And then he, he was coming like that night or the next day. And I'm like, oh, sorry, it's gone. Hey, somebody who loads an ATV in the box. Rear window, gone. Doesn't even have a box. So there you go. There you go. All right, well, let's get after it and then we'll head down the track and have some fun. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's good to go. That's a little hot. A little hot. A little, a little hot. test weld there and her bullet. Uh, our targets, targets. Yeah. Look at the freaking blisters on that thing. A little gooder? That sounds a little better. Um, the Taz thing works awesome. Princess Auto, check them out. What do you need? I don't know. Cool. Trying to find my parts that I need. No. Your bits? My bits. I'm not really wearing the right, the right gear to be welding. Oh, you got it all. Got your work shorts on. Yeah, I need uh, something to put on my leg. <laughs> I don't burn my, my leg. Need a mop for your hair. I yeah. know. All right, let's see if this will work. Stupid tip. You want to come out? Tip's too tight. A toy tip. Hmm. I think I'm gonna change the tip. All right. Gonna lose the leg. Oh, where are we supposed to stand? I think the belt is not even on. Alright. Well, there's a belt. Obviously, there's a belt. Yeah. We're not engaging. Okay. So, how. Is it in there somewhere? Hmm. Alright. Let's figure it out. Hold on, gotta okay. throw the belt back on. All right. All right, we got the belt back on. We're back. We don't have the guard on it though, because we don't like when things are too safe. Looks pretty balanced, I don't know. Yeah, sounds a lot better than what I was using before. Let's see. Oh yeah. So obviously it's meant to cut massive weeds, not cut the lawn, but it did pretty well. Man, look at this nice little patch here. Yeah. 
Not bad for a chain. That's cool. Got a sharp blade, so we'll throw the protector back on. We're gonna run down the track, see if we can do a quick 20 minute video. Yeah. Get out of here. Okay, right on. And quick sash at the track. All right. Freaking windy down here. Oh, today. She's windy, she's hot. Thank God I got the old microphone. We got our best friend, the NoCo, oh, yeah. there. Here, you can have the keys. Okay. Yeah. What are we driving today? We got the old Dodge. Oh. We're going to be ripping the nuts off the Dodge for the next few videos. So I kind of want to jump the Ford maybe tomorrow. Hopefully, if the tranny's still good. Figure top her off with some tranny fluid. She'll be good to go. Is this the one that has no box on it? Yeah, neither of them have oh, boxes. Okay. They're boxless. Boxless. So. We blew up some spray foam inside the Equinox the other night when we were shooting. And that's what it looks like. And it actually sealed the window. It shot through the window and sealed it. Wow, that's neat. Yeah. Quite messy. <laughs> kind of went everywhere over here. All right. So the Dodge. Our puddle's still good. You can rip the puddle 100 miles an hour. Rip the puddle? Put her in 4x4. Four so this was our ricochet, took out the back window. Oh. And this was another ricochet. One there, one there. And then uh, here's our last ricochet. Right there. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty decent one. So there's probably bullets on the ground somewhere. Somewhere. I haven't found any down here, but when we were shooting by the ramp in the winter, I found a good good handful. All right, let's pop the uh, pop the hood on this thing. Sweet old Dodge, straight piped. There we go. This is a, she's a weird one. Yeah. Come on. There you go, hold it. Just ripped the grill right off. <laughs> There it is. There it wasn't even open. Classic Dodge, eh? Just a hunk of junk. <laughs> junk a hunk. Oh, yeah. Uh, have a no-co there. Use my head, as per usual. All right, you want to fire this thing up? See if it'll work? Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, find the key here. Okay, ready? Yeah. Wow, it's loud. There's glass everywhere in here. I'll take this from you. Good luck. I want to see you hit that puddle doing mock chicken. Mock chicken. Mock chicken. And uh, just pull that shifter back to put it in four by. Right. I think. Oh yeah, not a bad little investment, eh? A couple people are wanting parts off it, hoods and grills and stuff. It's gonna jump nice, that's for sure. Hopefully, uh, yeah, we can the tranny get going on this thing we'll jump it soon let's <laughs> save the noco there I'll put her over here one more time Tons of water in there. Oh man, this thing doesn't do the best, don't it? She's a one wheeler. Oh. 
dust storm. Woo! All right, quick little burnout, and then we'll uh, shut it down. I'm soaking wet right now. <laughs> Did it come in the back? Oh man. Uh, well, let's do a burnout one in the video. How was that? It was good. Last second one, I did slow mo. There's a piece that? of plywood just by the bumper on the F 150. Just back her up to there. Oh. Ooh, that big gap. What a beast she is. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, hour and six minute video I posted the other day. I like doing long videos. So, hope you enjoy them too. Right there, yeah. Nice single wheel peel going. Are you in two? Yeah. Side's gonna go. Six and one. Oh, she died. Rot roll. What happened? Whew. Oh, we need the NoCo. NoCo to the rescue. Pop that hood. Why would you stall her, Jay? <laughs> you quit. Oh, the power steering shut off before? Yeah. I wonder if she got a little damp under here. Alright, might need a hand here. Because uh, this hood doesn't like to hold itself up. Yeah, I just got <laughs> so <soaked>. dominated. <laughs> oh, Alright. No co round two. What would life be without no co? We'd have to bring the trucks over. Get the booster cables out. Oh, I don't miss that life one, one little bit. Everybody needs an OCO. All right, you're up. Okay. Fire away. Hopefully we didn't wreck her. Last time we went through the puddle with that Cadillac. Never wanted to run right again. Oh. Try it. Hold on. All right, try it. All right, I'm gonna leave the NoCo in there. Yeah? Let's do uh, one more burnout and then we'll wrap her up. Okay, I'll back her up over there. Yeah. Don't do anything crazy, the NoCo's in there. Oh man, classic Dodge, classic piece of junk. Uh time we got 409 408 and we just missed it so he's got to pick up his kids in 15 minutes that's 15 minutes to London oh he'll make it oh yeah come on sweet old Dodge all right yeah maybe keep her in first again this time Oh really? Completely gone? gone? Hey, you don't need power steering where we're going. I showed a quick video today. I know you guys love your burnouts. So uh, hey. make sure you follow Jay, Razor Jay on Instagram. Don't do anything we wouldn't do. If you have any vehicles, 
feel free to bring them down. We'll jump them. I'll let you guys spend the day at the track and hang out with the hang out with the crew. I'm all wet now. Feel that for me. Good for you. That's fine. Put the hair on your chest. Yeah. Anyways, have a fantastic night. Make sure you follow Jay and uh, yeah. Don't buy a Dodge unless you're jumping it. They're junk. Or if you're Brad McNine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See you later. Yeah.